take a road trip with our next guest and you'll be making a lot of stops. Let's welcome Bill Seegers, historian and director of the South Carolina 250 State Marker Program. Bill, great to have you with us Thank today. Thank you, glad to be here. About four years ago, you embarked on a special project. Yes, um, Charles Baxley, good friend of mine who was um, the um, chairman of the 250 Commission at that time, had this bright idea that he wanted me to find 185 markers that related to the American Revolution in South Carolina. Now the markers that we're talking about are these three foot square aluminum markers which are sanctioned by Department of Archives and History. Mm. So Charles said, I need for you to find them, photograph them, because we have visitors coming and we want to know exactly where they are. Okay. So we started looking for them. Uh, we found those 185 and a lot more. Okay, so these 185 that already had these markers, mm -hmm. did you have a general idea of where we they did. were? We did, we worked with Department of Archives and History mm -hmm. and they knew where they were supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, a lot of them had been moved, so we started looking where they were supposed to be and then found them in other places. Mm -hmm. The goal of this, Taylor, was to document where they were, the condition they were in, so others could go see them. Mm -hmm. How old were some of these markers? How long had they been there? Um, some have, were put there in the 40s oh, and wow. 50s on up until the recent um, early 2000s. Okay. Some were put there. And you said that you found a lot more. Yes. How many more? Um, we presently have about 260 in total. state markers wow. that relate to the American Revolution. Mm -hmm. As we were doing that, we also found monuments markers, signage mm. that related to the American Revolution. Mm. Anything that a visitor can go up to and read mm. what happened at this site on this date. So we now have a total of over 600, 600. sites over South Carolina wow. that um, we're encouraging people to go visit. Mm -hmm. Is this still a work in progress? Are there yes. still more sites that and, you think are And discussed? will continue to be. Okay. Um, as a part of the 250 celebration effort, which is a 13 year long process, mm -hmm. each county, they're currently adding markers. Mm -hmm. So for the next generation, we want to go ahead and document all of these as they're going up. Mm -hmm. And we have a means of disseminating that idea through an interactive Google map. Oh, wow. That will be coming online, hopefully within the next month. Mm -hmm. You obviously had to have some passion, right, to, <laughs> yeah. to, to embark on, on this journey. So really, why are you doing this? Well, again, as, as my good friend Charles said, visitors are coming. Mm -hmm. We want to direct them for tourism purposes to where they can learn about the Southern Campaign and the part that South Carolina played in the American Revolution. Mm -hmm. And so as a part of this, we're refurbishing the markers. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, out of this 185, we found 30 that were just missing. Wow. Nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. So we're in the process of, of uh, replacing those. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that an interactive Google map will mm -hmm. be coming soon. Yes. So where can people go to learn more now? That will be on the um, South Carolina 250 Trust website, Okay. S-C-A-R-T. Wonderful. Bill, thank you so much for joining us and, and, and talking about such an important time in our state's history. Good, we appreciate good, it. thank you. We're back in two minutes.